I studied at Central St. Martins and I did a jewellery degree there and I started using Whitby Jet for my final year. Whitby Jet fell out of fashion quite a few years ago now, but there's a very small handful of people using Whitby Jet in Yorkshire, but I'm the only person doing any real contemporary design work in the material. And my whole ethos is to take the material, remove it from its Victorian sentimentality and associations with death and grief, and reinterpret it for a 21st century audience. I like very bold, sculptural, fluid, simple forms that I then break away and carve away and um, I use the crystals in such a way that it looks like they're erupting from an opening and scattering out to the sides. I found that being in cockpit arts has helped my work quite a lot, partly due to the exposure you get for the open studios, but also because there's a lot of business support and marketing support, and quite often you could have that one-to-one. -to, -one. to somebody who wouldn't necessarily normally buy a handcrafted piece, I would say that there's a number of reasons that they should. It's an investment in, in as much as you get a longevity out of it. You can get a unique piece. All my work is unique, so nobody would be wearing the same two pieces. I would also say that it gains in value over the years as the designer becomes more well known. And also think, especially when there's a place like Cockpit Arts where you can visit the open studios and you actually see the studios and where the pieces are made and maybe even get a demonstration. And it helps you to understand that all these things are manufactured or made by hand here in the UK by individuals who are there doing it because they love it. <laughs>